Congratulations on the new album. It is fantastic and I love the front cover. That's You're me. so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> that is a great photograph of you. I really Thank like you. that one. I really do. Now, look, what I love about this is it's like you've created this whole new world. It's not just yes. an album. It's a whole, it's a whole world. It's a universe. It is a universe. It well, is, it's amazing. I, I think for me, like one of my favorite things about pop music is like it's fantasy. You know, it's yep. escapism. Uh, you get to go to a place that's a bit more magical, more colourful than. So Palo know. Santo is a place like that. So exactly. So I was like, I want to make our own years and years world called Palo Santo, and like all the things that happen there and what it looks like, and right. we're gonna tell all those stories in the music videos and of our live show. So I've had so much, so much fun. Oh, there's in. been such a lot of buzz about it. Rihanna, I believe. Ri, Ri. She, <laughs> she, she enjoyed you two, it. You two, best pals. Is she? <laughs> there you are together. Yes. You don't look at all excited. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, who is this person? No, it's she like... isn't. She's a massive fan and she loves it. That was pure joy exploding out I of know, my face. I know, but, but th that's the thing. In here, there is that. There's joy. There's A lot of it is about it's about you, it's about your experiences, about what you've gone through. So some tough times as well, but I, ultimately it's a massive celebration. I think so. I like, I'm very, very lucky to be a songwriter, you know, and like yeah, to yeah. do the job that I do. I know that you had a tough time at school and you were yeah. bullied at school, like an awful lot of people, sadly. Um, do you ever see any of those people that bullied you? Do you ever, have you ever come across them? I have They must be so annoyed with themselves that they weren't your best friend. Oh, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I have thought about them sometimes though, yeah. you know, and I wonder like what happened, you know, what where they are now and how they feel about like, you know, because I, I would be interested actually like talking to maybe one of them about, you know, what they were like at school and like how they feel about maybe yeah. being, have been it's bullied somebody. awful but. to be bullied, but actually, can you imagine being the bully? Yeah, well it... How difficult, it, not difficult, but how awful that must be well, to I live with it, yourself. Yeah, I think it usually comes from a place of, mm. of, of damage or, or vulnerability, Definitely. doesn't it? So, Definitely. But no, I haven't seen any of them. But you seem in a really good place. I am. You really Thank do. You. you seem in a really, really good place. I mean, you have been through such a lot. You've, you've been very open. What I love about you is how open you are about the fact that, yes, you've struggled, struggled with your sexuality, you've struggled with your mental health, but you're he you've got through it. You know, and yeah. people seeing that, what you went through, because the documentary you did about growing up gay, I thought was remarkable and Thank should be shown you. in every school. Thank just you. so that people know what it's like. Yeah, I, I really, I think so. I mean, look, if, 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 I think one of the reasons I am so sort of vocal about everything that I've been through and everything, and it's, um, I, you know, if I can do this, then it's like, well, anyone can, you know, and yeah. um, it's all about just kind of using your voice to, to encourage other people to, to speak about their experience, what sure. they're going through, and that's been the most amazing thing that's happened from this whole process is mm. the honesty and the, and the openness that I've experienced with from other people, you know, who, who've watched the documentary, who, who want to share something with me, and, like, that's amazing, and mm. I think that's, like, so special. So. And I do think you've helped an awful lot of people. I mean, you must have. You, you absolutely must have. And I know that there will be young men and women who are watching this morning and watching you and maybe struggling with their sexuality. Yeah. What would you say to them if they are feeling a little bit vulnerable, a little bit lonely, feeling that they're the only people going through this? Well, I think, firstly, like, you're not alone, you know, mm -hmm. like, it's, it can feel that way, like, especially for me, I, I definitely felt like I couldn't speak about what I was going through or how I was feeling, I was too scared that, you know, I, I just felt like I, I had to keep it all in, and, and the thing I wish I'd done sooner is, is talk to somebody or, or try to reach out and find, you know, my, you know, other people within the, if you're gay in the, in the, in the gay community or if you're queer in the queer community, you know, just try and, like, um, remember that you aren't alone, basically. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, I was at Pride at the weekend, and that I was... I heard. Did you have a good time? Had, yes, ever so slightly. <laughs> what did you wear? It, it did was you wear wonderful. Well I, well, I sort of glittered up everything, oh, nice. and I wore every colour. Because yes, I thought, I didn't know what to wear, so I just thought, I have loads of colour. And then that was good. It was so good. I Holly. bet people went wild But it you. was lovely because it was... I mean, I, I did say at the time, you could actually feel the love in the air. And that wasn't an exaggeration. It yeah. was just people celebrating. And it was joyful. That's, that's it was good. absolutely joyful. It really, really oh, was. Oh, I wish I could have been there. I would have been right next <laughs> to you. Next year. Be yeah. on the bus with me next yeah, year. Can you imagine? <laughs> the bus would probably explode. <laughs> it would be great. Yes. It would be really good. Explode with happiness and glitter and all of that. Now, look, what about acting? Are you going to do more of that? This man has acted with Dame Judi Dench. Well, <laughs> so... funny you should mention, I got Dame Judi Dench to be a, the narrator of our short 
our Palo Santo short yes. film because we made a f short film for the for the album, um, and so and she's narrating it, which is pretty amazing. So. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And, I, and to I be did... able to phone up Judy Dench and say, right. could you, do you mind? You know, if you're not busy, Judy, could you? That's what I did. I actually <laughs> phoned her, and she picked up the phone. I was so surprised. I was like, I can't believe you you pick up phones, but of course she does. <laughs> she's a human being. But it's just like, I know, but you don't think if I'm doing things yeah. like that, making a cup of tea, watching some toast. <laughs> She's the best. Oh, but, that's um, great. So, so we made that short film. So, yeah. I, I, so I sort of act in that, really. Yeah, I've got of a couple course. lines. <laughs> well, you should do. You know what? Whatever you do, you do it so well and so beautifully and with such joy. Albums out now. Thank you. It's mm -hmm. really. It, I know I'm not. I said I'm not your target audience. But yes, you are, Lorraine. Am I? Come on. Well, I love it. I think Karma might be my favourite, but oh, I keep changing my mind. Likes karma. I keep, yes. change, I keep changing my mind, though. You change it all you like. <laughs> thank you, my angel. Oh, it's a thank joy you so to much see you. Me. Don't leave it so long the next time. No, thank I'm you. Come back. <laughs>